reaction to what the Prime Minister said? Well, I'm frustrated. I voted for this deal at Meaningful Vote 1, 2 and 3 because I think it's the only way we're going to get out. But I really am concerned about the proposed possibility of a second referendum. People were told in the referendum it was the final say on the matter for a generation it would be implemented. That's been our consistent policy. Uh, so I, I haven't decided how I'll vote yet, but I find this offer of a second referendum really, really worrying. There hasn't been a majority so far in the Commons for a further referendum. Why are you worried? Why not allow people to vote, put the issue to bed and get the deal through? Well, the clear policy of the Conservative Party and the government is that there will not be a second referendum. That's what we've been saying consistently throughout. But now we seem to be in a position where we're saying if there is a majority in favour, then that will become government policy. So that would be the policy of the Conservative Party and of the Conservative government. That could never be my policy, and I know it couldn't be the policy of a lot of my colleagues, because I believe in respecting the result of the first referendum. So, you know, I'm now on the fence as to whether or not I can support this. I, I, I have a lot of prayers for the Prime Minister. I think she's been dogged in this. I want to get this deal over the line, but I'm not prepared um, to countenance a second referendum in any circumstance. On the other concession on a customs union, allowing MPs to vote on whether there should be a temporary customs union with the EU or the relationship outlined in the deal. Could you, could you, could you swallow that? Could you, could you live with that? Well, I voted for a whole range of compromises as we had these indicative votes. I think I was one of few MPs whose voting behaviour was all over the shop on that is because I wanted to deliver uh, the referendum. Um, but the customs union is one I am particularly concerned about. I need to look at that in more detail. Um, uh, so I have some concerns about that. But the big one for me is the idea that a second referendum could become the official policy of the Conservative government if the House of Commons uh, voted for uh, all that. And, uh, and that's the one that really I am struggling with, as much as I actually want to get this deal over the line and want to support the Prime Minister. She said it's the last chance for MPs to deliver on the result of the referendum. If this bill doesn't go through, the legal default is a no-deal exit. Uh, at the end of October, and, and would you be happy with that to happen? Well, no, look, I mean, I have, I say, voted for a range of different ways uh, for us leaving, and there's no doubt lots of my constituents would be quite happy with a no-deal Brexit. But I think what's been shown with the current steel problems, we, we should leave with a deal. Uh, that was in our manifesto at the last election probably in all of our economic interests uh, as well. But um, uh, so I don't want to see that, you know, as to whether it's the last chance or well, we've we've been in last chance saloon a few times on this uh, uh, on this issue. So a new leader could come in and, and reset the clock and, and put forward a new negotiating strategy. Well, look, that's perfectly possible. But, you know, lots of other things are possible as well. But, you know, I want to get this deal across the line. I think it's a relatively good deal. It lasts for 18 months. It gives us that breathing space to really have the debate in this place about what our future relationship will look for. But a second referendum uh, I just think would be uh, was completely unacceptable because we told people the first one, both sides said, we'll have this referendum and we'll implement it. And we haven't done. And that's an outrage, frankly. Andrew Percy, thank you very much.